Hello everyone and welcome to my bed. Uh well Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas, it is that time of the year. It is what I got for Christmas, so let's begin with Socks as usual. <laughs> yep, a DDR player needs his socks to be able to slide around like a highly wax floor. I mean, look what happens to these poor things. <laughs> so yeah, without extra socks, the DDR will not happen because the feet are just too sticky. Phew. Next up is an Axe gift set, which I tend to get every year. It's got body spray, deodorant, shower... Uh-oh. They're saying that I smell, aren't they? You've probably bought from here before an Amazon gift card for 25 bucks. Who couldn't use an Amazon gift card, really? I mean, they have pretty much everything. It's time for the games now, which is probably the moment that you've been waiting for. <laughs> Behold the first one, Curry Triple Deluxe, which looks really good, actually. It looks like Kirby's Return to Dreamland on the Wii, except, you know, in portable form, which I definitely like seeing because... Well, I really, really loved Return to Dreamland, as you remember in my walkthrough of it, so I am most likely going to enjoy playing this game quite a bit. Yeah. How, how did that happen? It, the game, it, it transformed. It, it's Zelda Triforce Heroes. Yep, another game that's sort of kind of like a sequel of sorts to... Four Swords in a slight way, I guess you can say, you know, with the whole team aspect of things where you're controlling multiple links at once or having a multiplayer link controlling experience. So this should most likely be fun as well. Okay, now we're going to be getting into the spooky side of gaming. So I'm going to let Evil Voice Guy commentate this because his voice is oh so fitting. Hey! That's not nice. I can't help them that my voice is that way. Sorry, sorry. Just put the game in camera. Fatal Frame for the PlayStation 2. Yes, PK Gam has never played a Fatal Frame game before. So, as long as he's got the PS2, why not start giving these bad boys a shot? He was a little annoyed that Maidens of Blackwater for the Wii U was download only because he can't get it and whatnot, but with the other games in existence, he can at least get his Fatal Frame curiosity sated with the first game in the series. And perhaps more in the future if he likes them. Thank you, Evil Voice Guy, for your words of wisdom. Alright, the next game is back to the non-spooky side. In fact, this is like a polar opposite of spooky, except maybe the end game. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Yeah, I never got this game before on the Game Boy Advance for some reason. No, I did, but of course, as you can see on the label, it's a used copy, which is fine. Um, new copies, for some reason, are going for crazy prices. I think people are scalping the price of the game like nobody's business so really used is the only way to go <laughs> unless you want to give scalpers money that they don't really deserve because they're price gouging like no one's business <laughs> but uh yeah i got a copy and i am happy regardless of its condition because i always wanted to play it and it is indeed in working condition i popped it in to check it out uh, and it ran and everything like that. But I didn't actually play beyond just seeing the title screen and clearing the save files and whatnot. So this will be fun for the future. More cuteness incoming! Woo! Yoshi's Woolly World! Yep, I actually got it with the Ami- Oh, it fell. <laughs> the Amiibo! Yes, uh, I'm, I'm, as I said before in my blog, I'm not really a super fan of the whole idea of using Amiimos for what is essentially DLC, but I made an exception for this one because it's ridiculously cute and well-made, and I'm quite a plushy fan, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's really less about the amiibo functionality as it is just having the plush. Though I will uh, use it for its amiibo functionality just for kicks along the way. Uh, just to see how things play out and whatnot. So yeah. As for the game itself, like all the others that I showed thus far, I did not play it just yet. Because well, I just got all these yesterday and yeah. <laughs> Too many games to play at once. There's only one game that I have played thus far, and that will be the next game. But anyway, uh, this game looks very, very good, like a yarn Yoshi story of sorts. And that is a good thing. Yoshi story is a great series, so this should be very fun. And uh, the whole yarn style and atmosphere, you know, of Kirby's Epic Yarn, um, you know, when they did that before, that was a really charming game style. <laughs> like, it was really, really well done. So I'm expecting to see some more of that sort of thing in uh, Woolly World here. And uh, as you can tell with the whole uh, amiibo thing here, yeah, it's uh, very, very charming. <laughs> All right, now for the only game on the list that I have played a little bit of. The final game on my list. And boy, is it a biggie. You could probably guess what it is if you've been following me, following games. The big boy of the Wii U, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yep. The 300-hour game... <laughs> That will destroy your social life. No, that's not true. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this should be fun to play through. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll uh, actually 100% of it because 300 hours is pretty daunting. And if things get super tedious and everything like that, it might overstay its welcome. <laughs> but from what I played of it so far, it has been incredible. So... If I'm really into the game, I definitely could see myself uh, going full out and 100%ing the sucker, as is my nature of, if a game is good, no matter the size, I'll 100% it. But, you know, it's it all depends how I feel about the game. But so far, in the first three hours that I've played it, it has been fantastic. Love the atmosphere, just has everything feeling just right about it. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how to describe it. I, I, I felt that way about the other Xenoblade as well, and I couldn't describe it as well. It just got such a unique feel to it overall, the combat system and the overworld and enemy design, character design, etc., etc. And yeah, and as you can tell, this is the special edition version, which means it also comes with some other stuff here which I have off to the side. It, and the first thing I'll show, well, not completely, is a 100-page art book. And this really does have some nice art pieces in here and all sorts of sketches and stuff that you can see here. Definitely, definitely very cool to go through. Uh, I'm not going to show the whole thing because, you know, probably copyright and stuff like that. <laughs> but it is very, very nice. And uh, there is the game itself, of course, which comes in the slot. It's actually in the game console right now. <laughs> but yep, very, very good so far. I am very much enjoying it. Uh, but I already kind of talked about that already. Uh, matted art card, limited edition. I didn't even take it out of the package, keep it in good condition. Yep, that is a thing that is a thing in the limited edition thing. <laughs> And finally, this is actually something that I have a problem with, <laughs> is, believe it or not, the soundtrack. You see, it comes in this high-tech looking USB thingajigger. Well, the, the 10 songs that come on it, very good. Love the soundtrack, but um, I didn't find out about this until after I plugged it in. Well, it's got some DRM that sort of kind of disables your Y drive on your computer? Yeah, that's not good at all. <laughs> so I had to take some time to fix that, and yeah. So if you want to listen to the songs, you're probably better off extracting them from this with 7-Zip or something like that, and then listening to them that way because it's just safer for your computer that way rather than dealing with what is essentially official malware. <laughs> 
<laughs> first party malware. So yeah, I did not really like that too much about this, but well, I've got it and it happened and I got the files off it. I'm not going to distribute them or anything like that. I just don't want to deal with having to re-enable a drive every time I plug this in to listen to the soundtrack. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> Oh, and I guess there is one more thing to show here. The plastic casing here. Uh, see, it's got a design of sorts when I shine it up to the light that you can see there. It's all, like, I don't, I don't want to say engraved, but it's got a uh, texture of sorts that kind of, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> in that it's pushed in at spots to make a design. It looks a lot like the uh, uh, window or menu design of certain portions of it. You know, a high-tech look of sorts. But, you know, it's still plastic. <laughs> And that is what I got for Christmas. So, what did you get for Christmas? I would most certainly like to hear that, just for kicks. We all like to talk about what we got, as it is fun. I like to talk about stuff that other people got. It is fun. So let's have some fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.